Sir Spider Rebar Tire Make all rebar tying easier, stronger, and faster. Wire Coil Installation Step 1. Cut wire from spool. Open top cover by pressing side lever. Insert wire into opening. Step 2. Press the lock button. Step 3. Remove about 20 centimeters, 8 inches of wire. Press and hold the clutch button. Feed wire through the tapered channel. Step 4. Close top cover. Turn on power and press trigger to try one knot. Dial Plate Function Overview M-Mode is a built-in functionality that will be implemented in future releases. Please do not use tool in M-Mode setting as you will change the motor settings which will cause poor performance. Please contact dealer immediately if M-Mode settings are changed so the tool can be reset. L-Mode Wire Length Adjustment After extended use, wire length may need to be adjusted for optimum tying performance. Zero mode, wire circle measurement. One, check if wire is in optimum tying position. Two, check if the wire circle diameter within correct range. One to five tying power adjustment work mode. From grade one to grade five, the tying power is increasing. Choose the correct tying power according to actual situation. M mode, different model switch. M-Mode is a new feature coming soon. When available, you can easily install different jaw types for different tying ranges. M-Mode is used to change the motor settings to the appropriate jaw size. This setting must always be the correct mode for optimum tying performance. Step 1. Switch the dial plate to M-Mode. Short press the trigger to change the motor settings. Choose the correct M setting to match with corresponding jaw type. Step 2. Switch the dial plate back to power grade mode, 1 to 5, and try one knot. L mode wire length adjustment. After extended use, tool may require an adjustment to the wire length if knots are tying with too much wire or not enough wire. Step 1. Set dial plate to zero mode. Press trigger to shape wire circle. Check if the wire end is in optimal range. If not, a wire length adjustment is required. Step 2. Switch to L mode. Press trigger. Wire length increases from grade 1 to grade 5. Choose a proper grade according to actual adjustment. Switch to zero mode to check if wire end is in optimal range. If not, Repeat above steps until wire end in optimal range. Switch the dial plate back to power grade mode 1 to 5 and try one knot. Note, if after you have completed all the length adjustment steps but the wire end still not in optimal range, refer to the zero mode video for further adjustments. Zero mode, wire circle measurement and adjustment. After extended use, it is possible for the tool to come out of wire length adjustment. Then an adjustment to the wire circle diameter is required. Step one, switch dial plate to zero mode. Short press trigger to make a wire circle. Move the circle out a little. Press trigger again to cut it off, then remove the wire circle. Step two, two ways to measure the wire circle diameter. One, measure the circle diameter of the wire for the correct range. Or two, place wire on the spool and align with the corresponding jaw type. Step 3. If the wire circle diameter is not correct, too big or small, wire sending jaw adjustment required. Loose the jaw screws first, then adjust jaw position to change the wire circle until the wire circle is at the correct diameter. 
Fix the jaw screws tightly after each adjustment. Step 4. When circle diameter is corrected, check if the wire end is in the optimal range by zero mode. If not, refer to L mode adjustment. Adjust the wire length until wire end is in optimal range. Back to former power grade, 1 to 5, and try one knot. Sir Spider Rebar Tire. Make all rebar tying easier, stronger, and faster.